Morning, 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 guys. As you can probably tell, I'm really hyper because I have not filmed in a little a little minute. So I hope you've missed me because I've missed you. Um, we're back with a very, very busy vlog. Today is going to be absolutely rammed. Um, so I just wanted to put a quick thing out there just to say, sorry I haven't been uploading um, in the past. I think it's maybe like a week and a half now. Um, I have been rammed with work um that is cakes postals i've also been doing my cleaning job so i've just been so busy i've been going to the gym five times a week we've just had a lot on um and the next two weeks are really really busy this week especially this week i've got six cakes um which i think my max in a week is eight um, so yeah, we're we're up there with my busiest weeks and obviously I'm also cleaning and Doing various other things. So it's gonna be very very busy But today we are doing three cakes and we've also got a postal tray to do just the one which we love because I could not do any more than that. So um, Yeah, I closed the postals yesterday because I didn't want any more um, because these cakes they're they're big birthers um so we have a lol cake we have a what is it we have a lol cake so we have desta um god my, mine's gone absolutely blank um we have a lol cake and then we also have a heart cake which i'm doing for valentine's which is being collected this afternoon um, the lol cakes for tomorrow and then there's another one i'll tell you about it later because i can't remember um so yes we've got three cakes and then we've also just got lots to do lots of admin um but yeah lots of people have been booking in for march really early which is amazing but also scary because we're getting busy so um yeah i hope that you enjoy the vlog and i hope that you miss me because i miss you and we're gonna get on with it we are going to sainsbury's now um it's about 9 a.m I've been up for a little while. I wanted to like make myself presentable today, so we did that. Um, but yeah, we're just getting to go to Sainsbury's, have a little shop around because I've got a few bits to get um, for the cakes this week, and then we will be back baking. So we need to bake all the layers first. Then I'm going to finish the heart cake. Then we're going to crumb coat all the layers and everything, but I don't want to do that until I finish this heart cake, because that's going today. So that is the priority. Um, right, I'm going to see you in a little while. I'm going to love you and leave you. If you don't wear your Crocs out, what are you playing at? Okay, we've accepted the Crocs are back. And I'm wearing them to the shops. I'm giving them a little christening. And we're also wearing them with socks, which makes it ten times better. I need to get some gibbets. If anyone has any recommendations of where to buy them, let me know. But I've only found them on the Croc website. But yeah, Crocs are out. We got the goods. I'm going to show you because there's loads. I have one bag on my arm. Big bag with like... 28 eggs or something and then we have another bag here i'll show you everything that i got when we get inside and i've got it all out here is everything that we bought so ridiculous amount of butter something like 28 eggs we've got stalk icing sugar i just wanted to point out because i found this out when i used this the other day so basically i usually use silver spoon but as everyone knows it creates the worst icing clouds and the only place which is a bit far of a drive um further than this sainsbury's is waitrose that sells tate and lyle sainsbury's has brought out their own ice and sugar which is a dupe for tate and lyle so it doesn't create icing clouds you literally shove it in the bowl and it just makes no mess and it's amazing so i will never be going back so Sainsbury's, please don't ever take this off your shop because it's great. So yeah, definitely recommend this because it just doesn't create any mess. Um, someone decided to open this one in the shop, but the actual packet wasn't open, so I still bought it. Um, we got 
a very mix of flavors this week so we've got lemon cakes we've got victoria sponge we've got white chocolate and raspberry we have oreo cookies and cream today we've got double chocolate there is a massive array i just wanted to put a little shout out to my new bins um haven't locked clear out yet in case you're wondering but um we have a food bin now and we also have a normal bin, which we love. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I need to take this out. It's got the recycling on the top. Um, but yeah, I love it. Love having my own bin. It's also opposite where I work. So it's so easy to just put stuff in there. So yeah, absolutely love it. Um, but I got them both on Amazon. This was like 11 99 And then I think this one was maybe like 18 because it is quite big. This one came with bags as well, which again, we love. So yeah um this is my two new bins hope that you like seeing that and now we're gonna get baking right we have our oreo ready to go in the oven it is a six inch as you can see and it is vanilla infused oreo um so it's my vanilla recipe and then i add oreos and also cookies and cream spread um so yes this is what's going in the oven now. That's going to be in there for 25 minutes. And during that, we're going to make the buttercream to finish off the heart cake, which is going at two o'clock. So yes, that is the plan.
here is the finished cake i absolutely love it um it's got a mixture of sprinkly uk sprinkles on it it's got the mini hearts the big pearls in three different colors and then it's also got the little white pearls and then around the side we've got this border um it did have sprinkles around the edge at the side but i wasn't that keen on that and she said something like this so i've taken the initiative to make it look nicer than the picture um so i'm hoping she loves it but i think it is gorgeous so we've got the plain white sides and then the roses on the top so this is being collected literally any minute so i'm going to put the lid back on and then we are starting on the oreo cake so i'll show you me crumb coating that and finish and decorating it just a little update um i haven't filmed um me making the brownie or decorating it um and i also i stacked the oreo cake but i haven't done like the outside crumb coat so i will show you that um but basically i was just been waiting for a mate for the past two hours and 15 minutes because someone decided that they didn't need to let me know that they weren't coming to collect their cake we love customers don't we um so yeah i i texted them to say like where are you um because i need to go out and then they didn't get back to me for like 15 20 minutes then they said they were gonna be half an hour so that would have brought them to 2 15 and they literally came at 3.50 and they were meant to come at 1.45 <laughs> so they were like two hours 10 minutes or something um so yeah honestly if i had a dime for every hour that a customer was late i would be so rich like so rich anyway we are going to package this postal brownie together and we're just gonna have a little chin wag i'm just gonna give you a little update of what i've been getting up to recently um because why not um because i need to go out and get a few bits i couldn't get lemon flavoring this morning um i went to a different sainsbury's to my usual and they didn't have it so we are going to go to hobbycraft and then i don't i'm gonna go to lidl um because there's a little run next to hobbycraft so we'll go there and then we'll get the lemon i also need some more oreos so yeah, we're gonna get like a few little bits because like I say, the Sainsbury's, this box is struggling. Um, I can't get the thing in. But the Sainsbury's that I went to this morning, just wasn't having it. I bought loads and it's really funny. I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming loads of people get this, like loads of bakers. But every time you go into a supermarket, like it, it's gotten old, it's happened that much. But like, you know, when every time you go to the counter or every time you see like a shop assistant, I think they think that we never get asked, but I get asked every day when I go into a shop, but they're always like, are you baking something? And I'm like, I do it for a business. So like I'm buying ingredients and then they're like, oh wow, that's really cool. Da -da 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 -da. And then they have a little chin wag about it and then that's that. But I literally repeat the same thing over and over again. So I honestly know it off by heart by now. Um, but yeah, does anyone else get that? Because I get it an awful lot. Like sometimes multiple times in a day. And sometimes I can just be buying like a pack of icing sugar. Like if I've miscalculated and I just need like one pack and I go out and get one, people are like, are you baking? And I'm like, I'm buying one pack. Like I could be doing anything with this. But you've assumed that I am a baker. Um, but yeah, obviously they're just trying to make conversation, which we love. But um, yeah, it's just funny how often I get asked. So we got our box. Um, these are the ones that I use for single, um, what do you call it, trays. And then I use the white ones for if they've got multiple, so they fit two in a box, so I use those. Or if I've just run out of brown ones, but um, yeah, otherwise we use brown. Then we have our glittery, what do you call it? This is a great tutorial. Glittery, tissue paper someone help me honestly um then i have my little stickers that i print out on these labels um uh, which just say the allergens so it's a biscoff tray so what i do is i leave i'll show you in a second um i put all of this in here and like save it for brownies so that they have all the right ingredients and then i just print it off and write in the toppings and then i also print it off and write in the date that it was baked um so what is the date today it's v-day i hope everyone's having a lovely v-day i am alone again um <laughs> i don't really celebrate v-day um even if i'm with people i don't know 
I just find V-Day a bit weird. Maybe it's just me. But I just, I don't like celebrating something on the same day as everyone else. Like Christmas is different and like Easter, stuff like that. But I feel like that's what anniversaries are for. Whereas V-Day is just like another excuse to have like an anniversary type day. But we're not gonna get, we're not gonna get political on the channel today as to my opinions. But yeah, I am gonna get Chinese egg fried rice and I'm gonna hopefully watch some TV if I get these cakes done because I've got two to do. Um, but it's going good so far. So I think we're gonna be done with plenty of time, hopefully be in bed by nine. And then I can watch some Ozark because that's what I'm watching at the moment. The new season of Ozark for those of you that are old enough because you know, it's not exactly child friendly. Um, Biscoff creams. Biscoff biscuits, if I can spell. Um, milky bar buttons. And I'm gonna be editing this vlog, hopefully, if we get it all done. Um, also, I wanted to put it out there. I put some stuff on my stories about Crocs, so you would have seen if you follow me on Insta. If you don't, then get to know, like sweet things about me on Insta, obviously. Um, but, I put some stuff on there about my Crocs and the response was lovely. Like I've literally renamed V-Day to Croc Love Day because the amount of Croc love, we love it. Um, so loads of people were saying that they need to get themselves some Crocs and me and, I don't think she'll actually be watching this. I don't think she watches my videos, but maybe she does. Um, but me and Ivy Bakehouse, I think is the full name. Um, I think her name's Holly, but yeah that's her business name and she was saying that she loves her crocs and we were saying that we started a trend because we always post about our crocs and now loads of people keep saying that they want crocs obviously we didn't actually start it there were other people wearing crocs before us but we feel like we started a little movement um so stick it like this um i need a cellophane bag and the actual postal tray so brb oh where is she what fridge is she in here we are yum 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 so i'm gonna take a quick quick picky as we do the background isn't the best but i mean i've got a thousand of these photos i just like to take it as a little formality you know just in case i'm running low on content then you can just post the photo and and um or like put in your stories or whatever so I feel like even if things look the same I always take a photo just in case I need the content um so that goes in the cellophane bag they're A4 cellophane bags they're just like literally you can get them from anywhere they don't have to be anything special they don't have to be any particular brand just A4 And then it looks like so. And we're going to get some bubble wrap and some packing peanuts. And then we're ready to go. So this is my box of packing peanuts. Why do I look so orange? I mean, I've been going to a sunbed. But um, that was what I was going to update you on what I've been doing recently. Oh, I forgot. Um, but packing peanuts. Um, I don't buy packing peanuts yet because I was kind of trialing it out and I really like them. Um, but I find that I have to do a wrap of bubble wrap just round once because otherwise um, I need that protection round the tray but then I use the packing peanuts in the rest of the box. So, um, but what I do is they're all recycled so I don't buy any packing peanuts. What I do is whenever I get a parcel, which is literally 10 times a day, um, I keep all the packing peanuts because that is my bit. That's me doing my bit for the planet, is me recycling my packing peanuts. So, business card. Then I usually just write a little no, um, whoever it's for. Let me bring the order up. And then I address it to them. And then, what are we doing? It is for Denise. 
So you always just check that it's actually going to Denise and it isn't a gift. Um, there's no gift note, so. Thank you. To Denise, enjoy your brownies from Amy. Little, little gift night. And then I just take a handful of packing peanuts, put them down the side of the box so that it can't shimmy in the post. And then it ends up looking like so. Just package that up. Box her right up. Packing peanut, trying to escape. There we go. And then, I don't need to show you how to do this because it will take me way too long. I've already been 10 minutes. But I use my new, I've got baby pink now instead of dark pink. Then I cut these in half because I bought the wrong size and I still literally have like hundreds of them. I bought like a pack of 200 off Amazon. I couldn't be bothered to return them. So I cut them and then it either says enclosed or documents. So it's just kind of a pick and mix as to what people get. So um, yeah, because I can't do anything about that. Anyway, um, then we have a perishable label because you should be labeling your parcels as perishable so that the little people at the Royal Mail know that it's perishable and that it's important that it gets there on time and hopefully they'll hurry that up a little bit. Um, and then we have a little fragile label, would help if it's the right way around. And I just shovel that on there and then Bob's your uncle. So, um, I can't show you this because it has someone's address on it, but I have, I print all my labels off online and I do it all tracked 48, tracked 24 if I'm busy and I have to send it a day later. Um, and then I take it to a sorting office, not a post office, and then I just give them to them and run away and I don't have to wait 20 minutes for them to scan them all. So it's a lot easier that way, buying it online would 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, but yeah, so. I just got a thank you from the customer that was really late um, saying that the cake was really pretty so that's nice um, I still wish that they came a little bit earlier but it's fine um, so we are going to finish packing this and then I'm off to Sainsbury's to get these last bits that I need see you later right we're off to the shops can we just appreciate the angle I'm like the queen of angles today the queen of horrible angles just to clarify that was sarcasm um but we're going to sainsbury's um because i like sainsbury's so i think i'm gonna go to sainsbury's i look like i have no eyebrow um yeah so we're going to sainsbury's hobby craft and the post office so we're gonna go to the post office first drop off the parcels which are all there um then we are gonna go to Hobbycraft, run in there, get some polystyrene balls, cause I'm doing chocolate covered polystyrene balls for a cake tomorrow. And then, and then we're going to Sainsbury's to get all the bits that we need to get. Um, I've got my headphones ready. That's when you know you mean business, when you go to the supermarket and you have headphones in. Cause then it's like, don't talk to me. I'm in a rush. I need to get my, my shit done. Um, so, that is the plan that's what we're doing um so yeah i will see you when i'm back probably no me so yes i am going to go get this done it's currently five um we've crumb coated one of the cakes i forgot to film it sorry the camera battery was dead um so yeah we didn't film that but i'll show you when i get back also it was a bit temperamental because it was oreo so it's always a bit temperamental to crumb coat an oreo cake because it's got the bits in it so it just wants to drag all the ice in so it's not that fun to watch um it's more stressful if anything um but yeah it's five so we just got a crumb coat the four inch cake they'll both be crumb coated by six i'd say so yeah now i'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna go see you in a bit hello guys what a little mare we just had. So I had a little bit too much fun in B&M. So I went to Hobbycraft and I got all the things I needed from there um, and actually a few bits more, which was always nice. And then I went up to the till and I was like, I can't find your polystyrene balls. I mean, you've only sold them for about 10 years. And then she said, we decided to stop selling them. And I was thinking to myself, well, why? Why did you do that? 
Um, and also, why are they still on your website? Because I looked on your website and I thought, you know what? I'll just pop in there, save myself the delivery cost. It's right around the corner. Save myself, you know, all that hassle. And also, when you do cook and collect with Hobbycraft, even though I can literally walk in there and pick up the items, so I know it's like in stock. If I do click and collect, it just takes ages, um, like a couple of days. So that's why I didn't want to do click and collect because it would have taken too long and I needed it today. Um, anyway, they stopped selling them. So I had like a semi heart attack, ran into B&M. They also don't sell them. And then I went to the range and thankfully the range saved my life another time because I had this once before where I ordered some flowers off of Amazon and they came and they were wrong like they weren't the right color tone and I couldn't use them on the cake and I went to the range and they had the ones that I wanted like a good what a good match so um but yeah so semi heart attack but we're recovered now we got what we needed because this is for tomorrow so I was like oh my god why didn't I go out earlier? Um, because again, on Amazon, they literally wanted me to sell a kidney in order to afford these polystyrene balls. And I was like, I'm not charging the customer like 15 pounds. Whereas these ones were two pound 50. So I was like, that's more of a bargain. Um, but yeah, on Amazon, they wanted so much more for them. And it was literally the same thing. So we managed to get them from the range. So that was good. So from Hobbycraft, I got some navy, some violet, and some forest green. This is what I use for my buttercream. Then I got some Sicilian lemon, which is what I went out for, which is a flavouring. I got some baking paper. You can go through. Um, I got some Tate and Lyle because I refuse to buy Silver Spoon anymore. Um, I didn't go to Sainsbury's, so I couldn't get the Sainsbury's version of Tate and Lyle, but it's, it's the same. Then I got this big pack of Oreos, um, just so I got them in the cupboard because they seem to be a popular flavour for just everything at the moment. I got these squares bars because I eat like 10 a day and it's an eight pack and it was two pounds, even though in Tesco you pay two pounds for four, which I think is a rip off, but we're not gonna talk about it. So we got those. Um, then we got some, look, I don't know what they're called, scrubby, scrubby buddies, which I use for the counter. They have a scour on one side and then a cloth on the other we love then we got some biscoff biscuits these are the extra large ones and then i also have a bag full of stuff over here um you are right when you see the pizza on the top of there we did buy pizza so um i didn't really have a cheat meal this weekend i had um a burger at my nephew's party and a little bit of cake but i hadn't actually eaten anything else that day so i feel like it wasn't really a cheat meal because i didn't eat anything else um but i got this stuffed crust pizza and it's tomato stuffed crust and it's my favorite thing in the world it's chicago town it's literally the only brand you should be buying and i'm gonna cook the whole thing and eat it tonight because it's valentine's day so it's an excuse for me to eat rubbish and then tomorrow we will be back on plan and eating healthy again um I was really extra and decided to buy a lunchbox for my cleaning job because I take a bag and I put my lunch literally in my bag but it's um it's one of these like tote bags so I literally spend about 20 minutes actually trying to find my knife and fork whenever I go through it whereas this I just open it up and it's got my lunch in it and it's also got a pom-pom on it it's pink glitter I thought why not I think they thought I was a bit weird when I went to the counter with it but we move um more icing sugar I got these for my drawer because I'm switching around my drawers under here. One of them currently just has sprinkles all over it, like in containers, but just filled with sprinkles. And we're going to make it a cutlery drawer. So I'm going to put these in it and then it will be filled with cutlery. Um, we got, these are for brownies, but I got the Milky Bar Kid. So they're actually the Milky Bar Kid, not just the Milky Bar. Um, because they go on my Milky Bar Mix brownie. We got caramel and chocolate squares. You either get the double chocolate or you get the caramel. Um, I can't have the marshmallow because the gelatin and I also can't have the cookies and cream, which I'm gutted about because it has a little bit of gelatin in it. So I don't get to try those. Um, I bought a little thing for my cotton pads. Nothing bacon related. Um, here are the polystyrene balls that I went for. I went for some that are really big to be over the top and then some that are small bagels for my breakfast kinder bars 
And then, honestly, girls, this is the mascara that you need. I get it from the range. It's just trying to focus on my face, but it's called Flirty Eyes, and it has the best brush in it. Um, and I think it's like a pound, but I always buy it from the range. And then I just got these potato chips. I'm hoping that they're going to be nice because they're not like the normal ones that you get from Tesco. So we'll see. Um, and that is everything that I bought. So we're going to crumb coat this lemon cake. And then we need to do all of the extras that are going on these cakes. So like the card prints, the polystyrene balls, any fondant bits that are going on them. Um, yeah, we need to do all those because that is the next bit that's quite time consuming. And then we'll probably come back to them around eight, nine um and do all the final coats and actually finish them off so yeah that is the update we like i said don't think that you can buy polystyrene balls from hobbycraft they don't do them anymore and you will have a heart attack when you leave it till the last minute like i did um but i will see you in a bit when i'm doing a bit more Guys, I have not filmed for like however many hours. Um, I've just been, like my camera died, so obviously the battery was on charge, but I have just been like tunnel vision getting these done. It is half 11 and all I need to do is add some little chocolate bars onto this one that I'm about to show you. And then the other one just needs the Mickey card, which is going on the front. So I need to literally just print that off. And then um, the other balls are just going in the side, but that'll take two seconds. As I was saying before my camera rudely interrupted me, um, I just need to add the chocolate bars to this cake, which I'm about to show you. They're like mini chocolate bars. And then the other one just needs the Mickey print on the front, which is a non-edible. So I just need to print it off. And then I place it on the front of the cake and then they remove it before they eat it um, because there's no ink on the back. Um, so the ink doesn't actually touch any buttercream. Um, and then I will also put the remaining balls, your, the polystyrene balls, um, into the cake because I can't do that because they're going to slightly cover the Mickey print. So I need to kind of see where that placement is before I add those in. But it will be done by 12. So we're looking forward to that because, um, 
that is like the latest that I can go to bed because I have work tomorrow. Um, I am doing my cleaning job tomorrow, so I need to be up at seven. Um, but I'm gonna turn you around and show you this cake. Um, but yeah, basically I had a bit of a mare with the polystyrene balls. They, the chocolate covering was fine like the actual look of the chocolate covering but i wasn't happy with the actual color um i found that because i was coloring the chocolate i couldn't get it the color that i wanted um and also they weren't as shimmery because the chocolate sets matte um so what i did which i'm not sure if anyone's done this because i haven't seen anyone do it or advertise that they do it but i painted the balls so i painted them with um this rainbow dust paint and I have it in like a thousand colours. And you can also just add food colouring to the silver colour of the paint. And then it makes whatever colour you want. So um, yes, I did that. And then I just painted all the balls and it was so much quicker. And I spent ages doing the chocolate ones, probably like an hour. Like tempering the chocolate and everything. And then they weren't the colour that I wanted. So I was like, they, they're not what I want. Um, and then I could have obviously saved that time. But it's fine we move it's fine right i'm gonna turn you around and show you this um i'm gonna point something out as soon as we turn it around because you're gonna notice because i noticed and it bothers me but i'm hoping that the customer still likes it i still like it but it does bother me so i'll explain it in a second so excuse the mess um but this is the cake so i couldn't find any lollies anywhere i looked on amazon and they were all the rainbow ones so what i've done is i've made them out of fondant as you can see so they look like lollies but they're not actually lollies and then these are little edible prints that i got off um ebay this is the thing that is irritating me so basically i ordered this off etsy it's a woman that i've ordered off loads of times but she doesn't have a color chart and we were a bit annoyed me and my mum because my mum is like part of the business and would you say that's baby blue because against the baby blue it's not baby blue um that is royal blue and i can tell you that it's royal blue because it is almost the same color as my color mill which is labelled royal blue. Um, so I had a bit of a message back and forth with the seller and she said that they label it based on their supplier um, and apparently the royal blue is more like a navy and I said, well, that's very deceiving because obviously everyone's going to buy it thinking it's baby blue and as you can tell, it's a very different colour. Um, but I think from further away, it doesn't look too bad. Obviously, um, it arrived on Saturday and this cake I am doing on Monday. So I wouldn't have had time for another one to arrive because this one already took a week. So that's why we have to kind of deal with it because, um, yeah, obviously she sent it out a bit later than I expected. And then when it arrived, it wasn't the color that I expected. So yeah, that's a bit frustrating, but um, yeah. So what we're gonna do with this one is we're just gonna add some little chocolate bars here and some up the top here um and then i think that's it for this one um we're also going to add a few more of these i'm going to put maybe one on each side at the bottom and then with the chocolate bars but again i want to wait until i've got the chocolate bars before i put them on there so that i know what fits um so yes that is this one which i love um the inspiration photo had a drip so we went for no drip because i thought it looked quite nice without um but yeah we did a half scallop fault line which i am loving so i really hope that she likes it because i think it's really cute um but yeah that's this one and then i'm going to shove this in the fridge and we will get the other one out this is the other cake so it's going to have these balls also in this corner and then it's going to have a mickey print on the front so we've got a card one and then along this top bit we have some silver painted and then as you can see the color of the balls is so vivid whereas when i did them in chocolate they were matte and they were just not very bright and i wanted them to be quite in your face um so yeah we've got sprinkles all over this we've got splatter and it's just really like fully loaded basically and i absolutely love it so um yeah this is a four inch and the other one is a six inch um it turned out to be a seven inch just because it had um a lot of layers of buttercream with the fault line but yeah i absolutely love it so i'm going to go and print off the mickey print and do the little chocolate bars and then these two will be finished 
So both cakes are boxed up. As you can see, I added the little chocolate bars. Um, but yeah, that one is all boxed up. I ran out of um, cling film, which I usually wrap around it. I'm going to see if I've got any cellophane. Um, but if not, it isn't the end of the world. But I would like to at least cover this one because this one's got a bigger gap than the other one. But I'll show you the other one because that is currently in my mum's fridge. So this one is also all finished. I will insert photos, but you can see that the Mickey print is on the front. Um, but as you can tell, the gap is a lot smaller, so I'm not as worried about this one being covered. Um, and I know this one's going straight in the fridge. Um, but yeah, it's mainly the other one because it's got such a big gap. But that is both cakes done, so now I am off to bed.